Welcome to Terry's Kitchen where we talk food, faith, and family. Today I am making scalloped potatoes or officially au gratin potatoes. But before we uh, get started with that, I'd like to read our devotion that we had today. It was on um, Psalm 48 verse 14. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our God even to the end. And, and I'm very thankful that he is guiding us each day and each moment because without him guiding us, I just don't know where we would be. So, um, dear Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, Lord, thank you, Father, for this beautiful day that the sun is shining. Lord, I thank you, Father, as we prepare these um, scalloped potatoes today to celebrate a friend's birthday. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for the time and the fellowship that we have uh, later, I thank you, Lord, for being with all those that are watching this channel. Bless their day, and I thank you, Lord, for your presence and being our God every day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm going to wash my hands, and we're going to get started. potatoes. They are um, a wonderful, wonderful dish um, and um, love making them um, and because the family loves eating them. So I am using a 9 by 13 metal tin um, um, baking dish um, because, you know, I really don't like cleaning up and don't want Ron to have to clean up uh, those casserole dishes with scalloped potatoes because they just kind of get messy, and because we're having a, a lunch, I thought this would be easy and quick to get rid of. But if you have, if you don't have one of these, just use the 9 by 13. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and generously spray that container with some cooking spray. Okay, I have peeled and sliced about 12 medium potatoes. Um, and they were probably about this size, so that's the reason I ended up having to use 12. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer my baking dish. Now some people have cooked, and I have done it a couple times, have cooked the, uh, the potatoes slightly because it really takes forever to get these uh, potatoes done. I don't know why. Um, that is, but it does take a long time. But I have the time the, um, this morning that I can let that bake for um, about an hour and a half up to maybe two hours. It depends on um, to get those potatoes done. So this is my first time really measuring anything. So we're going to kind of, um, uh, because I usually do it by sight, so I'm going to be measuring along as I'm showing you. So I'm going to, I have a teaspoon of salt and I know that seems a lot because I'm going to layer each with about a teaspoon. But I don't know about you, it seems like when potatoes, um, they just absorb that salt. So I've got a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. So I had some red onions that I had chopped and had yesterday. So I, I went ahead and used them. Normally I wouldn't use a red onion, but I don't want to waste anything. So I put a little bit of onion in there. This is how mom made them uh, growing up. She made wonderful and still makes wonderful scalloped potatoes. And so I have my um, flour sifter here. I have two cups in here. So I'm just going to put a little in and see how much it actually ends up coming to. So what you want to do is just sprinkle that over because that's going to kind of thicken your milk. So that's my first layer. Boy, I made a mess with my flour. That's all good. There's messes in the kitchen. Always said that makes a good cook. So I have, this is um, a 16 ounce um, a block of cheese that I had grated. I feel that you can use the ones that are already shredded. Um, I like to, to use this. I just think it's a better flavor. Um, so I grated that. So I'm just going to pour a generous amount in there. 
because if you're going to make a gratin potatoes, you want to make sure you've got some cheese to that. Scalloped potatoes are so great to take on if you're having a, um, you know, uh, I've done it for picnics. Um, if you're having people over, it's great to take as a, um, a church uh, covered dish. And everybody loves scalloped potatoes, I think. Or most people do. Yes, uh, growing up, Dad, would, he would always want Mom to be making scalloped potatoes. He really enjoyed those. So I'm just layering my next layer here. And I'm just going to finish up that. I didn't know if I was going to have too many that I would make another little container. But I think that's going to be perfect. Okay. So back, I'm going to put a, another teaspoon of salt over that. Another teaspoon of black pepper. Because you know we like our black pepper. Some more onions. Boy, I'm still, this was probably a, a, a medium, well, medium to small um, onion that I chopped. Still going to have some left over because I don't, I don't want to overpower the, the dish by putting too much onions on it. So, so I'm going to take and put a little more flour. So it looks like I used about a half a cup of flour to do two layers of um, the potatoes for the 9 by 13. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a good portion of the cheese, but then I'm going to pour my milk in and then I finish it off with some the rest of the cheese. Because when the milk goes in, now when you're filling the milk, because the potatoes are going to have a certain amount of water um, that's going to come out of those. So this is about uh, five cups of milk. But I don't think I'm going to be using all that, but we'll see. So you just want to pour that in. Let's see. I'm looking to see if it comes about halfway up our container here. Okay, now we're just going to dump. So basically that was five cups of milk that I used. And you see how the, the cheese spread out. So let me put a little bit more, the rest of this. And I wasn't sure, uh, again, how much... Um, because everything usually that I make is by sight. So I have a little bit of grated cheese that is already the package grated cheese. So I just want to finish this off a little bit here. So I'll just add. So it looks like um, that I probably used the 16 ounce of cheese and then added another cup full. You can add less um, on that first layer uh, than I did, or um, just, you know, however it works for you. If you want it, 16 ounces of cheese is plenty of cheese for this. Um, so I just wanted to cover all of that up. So, all right. So now I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'm going to cover it with foil. So if you have a, a glass baking dish that has a lid, um, certainly cover it. I'm going to cover this for a, a couple reasons. I don't want the top of my uh, cheese to brown too quickly and so I'm going to bake it for the first hour with the foil on top and also that foil is going to help those potatoes kind of steam and maybe get done a little quicker. So I'm going to put it in the 350 degrees up, degree oven. going to bake it for about an hour and a half but we'll come back online and I'll actually let you know how long it actually was in the oven. 
Okay, we are back. The scalloped potatoes, or uh, gratin potatoes, have been baking for an hour and a half. So the first hour I had a sheet of foil over that, and, and then I removed it so that it would get a nice brown. Ron is on film because he's going to be my taste tester. So I volunteered. He volunteered, so we're going to let him try the potatoes. Now they are very hot, so I'm giving him a little bit to sample to see what he thinks. I already know I like them. <laughs> They're hot. Well, they work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hope you would consider making this for your family. It's a it's a nice, easy dish to make, and the smell in the kitchen is just wonderful. Um, and I think what we're going to do, we're not quite ready to eat, so I'm going to cover it with some foil and just let it steam in that foil um, as it's resting. So thank you so much for watching our videos, liking, subscribing, and sharing. We do appreciate it. Blessing.